Today I'm presenting a gem of a piano, an 18-year-old Kawai RX2, predecessor to some of the present line manufactured pianos at Kawai. Stick around, it's a lovely instrument. Hi, Ted Barsuli with Alamo Piano Galleries. Look for us online at alamopianogalleries.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this piano channel. I love to build up the membership and it just makes for a bigger core of audience to answer questions and to provide more questions and comments. And we also have stores in Ohio, in Michigan and Texas, as well as St. Louis and in Kansas City. So, as I mentioned, this is one of those rare gems, one of those lovable, likable pianos that come into the store. This one recently came in as a result of a lot of things we cleared out for the sale, and it is a Kawai RX2. I went and played these pianos when they first came out. And it is, like I said, a predecessor to what is currently the SK2, and it is the predecessor to the GX2 line, the Black Series by Kawai, currently in production. The difference is when this piano first came out, the RX2 models had the ultra-responsive action made out of the ABS styrene composite components, and Kawai received a lot of flack for quote-unquote having plastic parts in their action. And as a result, it was just a lot of hype. And all the other manufacturers could say is, our actions are made out of complete wood. That doesn't mean they were better. And as time has gone by in the last 20 years, since Kawhi first started working with composite materials and actions, the best working responsive actions that are in found some of the absolute best pianos in the world are carbon fiber composite actions, which is where the RX2 piano moved to around 2005 or six, I believe they moved the Millennium Grand Action into this piano, and it was carbon fiber. This is a 2005 model, it's about 18 years old, and uh, when this piano first came out, the one thing that most all of the dealers, because they deal with a lot of pianos and they get to play everything, and a lot of the salespeople particularly thought that it was wonderful because Kawhi took what was once a really, really rich tone and in some of the KG2 models was an maybe overly excessive mellow tone, but they, they took some of that tone and what most people said in a nutshell is made this sound like a Yamaha. And so that boosted everyone's interest in the RX because the other thing that went along with it is that it played better. For some reason, it played better than any other Kawhi. And part of that was because of the ultra responsive, um, not just the composite action, now it's a carbon fiber uh, composite action, but in this piano in particular, they just work better. They're, they're consistently manufactured and, and there isn't any kind of delay or s slowness or sluggishness in the action as a result of certain parts of the action absorbing more water and moisture over 18 years. It, it's pianos get achy and, and they, get, they get old and, and, and these critical action component parts being built out of uh, composite materials, I was a fan of it from the very beginning because I played a lot of clunky pianos and they didn't play all, all consistently up and down. And some of the other um, predecessor things they have in here is they still have the, um, this steel reinforced key slip and they still have the, the, the wing nuts underneath which they did on the predecessor model. But right now for the moment, I want you to go ahead and have a listen to this and um, make mental note of, and uh, leave me some comments or thoughts about what you notice on this piano.
Well, my first reaction after playing this piano, and initially I played it, it was out of tune, and I didn't, I mean, I thought it played great, uh, didn't have much of a sound to it, it was out of tune. I went back in and tuned it, and as I played it, after it was tuned, my first reaction is, this is like a Boston piano. And it's kind of funny because Kawhi manufactures the Boston pianos, and the Bostons are actually designed for Steinway. And it's funny that this piano reminded me of that. I don't know what it is about it. Uh, it is the five foot ten Koichi Kawhi original grand piano for the the Kawhi line that was upgraded from the KG two line, became the RX two. And it went through a couple of different changes in the actions and some of the components. And then when there were finally enough of the EX model changes that they had done just for experimenting, this line became the GX black line that Kawhi now sells and we carry in the store. And again, you can find that, but this is one of those gems because as, as a pre-owned used instrument, it plays and sounds great. It's just as desirable as any new instrument. And again, they don't run as much money in terms of cost. They've already been maintained. You've got 18 years worth of life. There's the warranty that most sellers will offer with this. It's just a plain out service guarantee that they're going to maintain the piano should be like it, like it has been for the last 18 years, at least for the next five years or so, or however long they give you on a warranty. And with that, I encourage you to go into any of our stores and go looking for some of these gems. This one happens to be a Kawhi. It is an RX2. We don't get a lot of these, and the reason why we don't get a lot of RX2s into the store is very simple. The people that have them keep them. They're wonderful instruments, and I'm thrilled that we have this one to be available for someone's going to be really happy with this instrument. And so visit any one of our stores, play some of the new instruments, play some of the older ones, ask your salesperson, where are some of the gems, and let me play those. And again, this is Ted Barsley with Alamo Piano Galleries. I'm asking you for your questions, comments, and suggestions about videos, and we eventually try to get around to everything. And thanks for watching, and we look for you next time.